Hello everyone. In today's session, we will be going through setting up a model analysis using Hyperworks new interface. For this, what I would be doing is loading a file, an automotive exhaust system, as you see on my screen. So all I can do is drag and drop the file in the Hyperworks window and you see the model being loaded. This is the exhaust system model of an automotive truck. It has the hot end with two catalytic converters and it has the rigid powertrain that's fixed to the converters. Basically the rigid powertrain comprises of the mount rates, the engine CG and the mass of the engine to it and the downstream is connected to the cold end which are fixed through the flanges. This is a configuration of the simple exhaust system and it's suspended and connected to the chassis through hangers as you see on my screen, hanger 1. Then we have hanger 2 and hanger 3 on the tailpipe. So before we proceed with setting up the model simulation, let me go ahead and create a load collector called SPC which defines my boundary conditions. So now that I have created an SPC load collector, so let me go to the analyze menu bar, click on BCs and then on the constraints. So let me go ahead and select the nodes on the cold end of the exhaust system. Basically at the three hangar locations, which gets connected to the chassis. After choosing, let me say create, and this creates three constraint points on the hangar location. Now let's create the same on the engine mounts. I have a coinciding nodes created for the spring element, which captures the stiffness of the mount. So let me go to the file preference and then type in coincident here and check the coincident node picking option so that this highlights the coincident node at that particular location within the model. So let me go to the move tool now and click node and drag the free end of the spring element. So let me do the same on the trans mount and on the right hand mount as well. So now that I have moved the free end, let me go ahead and create some constraints the similar way. Let me go to analyze, boundary conditions, constraints. Let me choose the LHS mount, trans mount and the RHS mount and say create. Now that I've created the constraints on the hot end as well as the cold end, let's replace those nodes to a zero length spring element using the replace. Now that I've zero length for the mount bushings and we have finished with the task of creating the constraints let's go ahead and create the eigrl card the eigrl card is now moved to load step inputs as you see on my screen in the new interface so let me call this as eigrl card let me define the number of modes let me call Type in 15 here and use the mask method for normalization. Let's close this once we've created the EIGRL card. Let's go ahead and create the load step, defining the subcase for the modal simulation. Call this as modal analysis. Let's create or select the analysis type as normal modes. Let's link the SPC or the constraints that we created. Let's create, click on the three dots, select the SPC here, apply and click on the check mark. Let's go to method and structures and select the EIGRL card that we just created. Let's go ahead and select some of the outputs like displacement strain energy and stress 
and let's close. So once we have the boundary conditions defined and the subcase defined, let's go to analyze and click on the arrow and let's save the FEM. Let's call this as exhaust system model analysis. And save this file and run OptiStruct. We have the OptiStruct solver running. The analysis is completed. Let's close the dialog box. Let's go to the window on top and add a split window. And on the right hand side, let's open up Hyperview. So Hyperview comes up automatically on the right side. Now let's kind of load in the results. Basically the H3D file and say apply. So I have the results loaded now. Let's look at the results. Let's go to the contour ribbon on top and say apply. Look at the frequency. Let's go to deformation set the scale factor to 10 and change the animation mode to model and animate the results you can see the results here basically the axial mode of the cold end of the exhaust let's add in the undeformed shape as well which shows in black Let's synchronize both the model and the results window. Now you can see both are in sync. My results as well as the FE model. So let's go through the results. Here's the bending mode of the exhaust system, which is the muffler bending mode. Then we have the bending mode again. We have the lateral mode here. You can cycle through different frequencies as you see on my screen and this way the results can be synchronized and show to the design release engineer on what the performance is on the model analysis.